from hogs fed grain is considered a, a, a very, probably the top attraction to a dung beetle. You might have heard, you might recall the name Truman Fincher. Pat mentioned him several times. He's the godfather. He's the guy that introduced all of these good beetles into this country. Something like 30 and I think maybe 10 or 15 took off to various degrees. He's also the guy that was so successful the drug companies ended up getting him fired because they didn't want people using dung beetles. They wanted them using the wormers and the, all the other stuff. But anyway, Truman would take an inventory of the beetles. Uh, in particular, he would take an inventory of the uh, gazella beetle in South Georgia. I think he started his career at the University of Georgia, then transferred to Texas A&M. But while he was at uh, while he was at Georgia, he used to take uh, buckets of hog manure around all over southern Georgia. Now he says, I did, I'm not aware of this, but he said the counties down there are small. It was only 15 or 20 miles from one county seat to the next. And so they were making a survey to determine if there were gazella beetles in each county. And they would open up their five gallon bucket of pig shit and the aroma would waft out of there and within two minutes they would normally have beetles flying around them. If there were no beetles within 15 or 20 minutes, they would write that off as a, no, as a non gazella county. Now that's how effective hog manure was. But <clears throat> Wayne Bailey and I discovered something a couple weeks ago down at uh, Wordak. The calf, and I started to mention this, I don't think I finished it up, the calf uh, paddocks had a whole lot more dung beetles than the cow paddocks. And the only thing we could see was the grain in the, in the calf manure. Now, those calves had just been wormed with Ivomec. Mm. Now that should have killed them, but they were very much alive and looked very healthy to us. But the question is, were they going to live or were they going to die? Unfortunately, I, I wish we would have saved some of them and kept them in a jar for three days to find out whether they lived. But we didn't, so we don't really know. But there's a gentleman here that did check it. Ted? All right. Ted found out a few days after we discovered those, those uh, beetles down there that their number had been greatly reduced. So maybe the Ivomec did take effect. But when we saw them, they looked great. I mean, they looked as healthy as they could be. And there were a lot of them. We would find six or eight in a patty with, with no trouble. So you now, were looking at adults, right? You weren't looking at larvae? Or right. Anything. Oh, yeah. I can't tell a larvae. Uh, that's by, way beyond my ability. But you, you, clearly, these were onthophagus beetles, clearly dung beetles, good dung beetles, and there were a lot of them in that calf dung. Whereas over in the cow paddocks, very, very few. We looked 30 patties maybe and found <coughs> six. We would find six in one patty in the calf paddocks. No, no, the cows hadn't been wormed there for years.